Hey everyone, in the news this week, radio DJ Steve Wright passed away. So a big shout out to all you florists out there. You're listening to Steve Wright in the morning. I'll say this much, it is a real shame that life doesn't copy the radio, otherwise Jeremy Vine would have gone first. There is also tragic violence in Kansas City after a shooting happened at the city's parade to celebrate their recent triumph in the Super Bowl. Luckily though, the fan dropped the weapon after only a few seconds of play, allowing several minutes for an ad break and for the police to presumably wrap things up. Also, after last week's farcical press conference, Joe Biden is still hanging on despite a number of polls suggesting he should step down. The elections in November and a recent survey asked thousands of people in swing states whether Biden should run, and most responded by saying they didn't think he could be trusted to walk, let alone run. Meanwhile in Russia, though, Vladimir Putin tried to settle his election chances by bumping off the leader of the opposition, Alexei Navalny. If you're after a good film, there's a 2022 documentary about Navalny that's really worth watching. Being the opposition leader in Russia really is a thankless task, a bit like aspiring to be in charge of the Scottish football team. I would describe it as a poison chalice, except that's a little bit too literal in Putin's Russia, where the poison might be in a chalice, or it might be in a mug, or a bowl, or maybe they'll go for a different method and you might accidentally stab yourself to death while clipping your nails. Anyway, see you next week. Like these, let's subscribe.